Hello, it's Rob here from Woodward English. How is everyone uh, this morning? Oh, no, this afternoon, evening, night, wherever you're watching from. It is Friday, the, what is it, the 9th of September here in New Zealand at one o'clock in the afternoon. And this morning, I woke up with some shocking news. Really, really surprising. Yeah, don't know what else to say. So the news that uh, Queen Elizabeth II has died, has passed away. Passed away is a, a nicer way of saying that someone ha has died. They're passing on to another life, whatever you believe in. They've passed away. Um, yes, because this happened about six, seven, eight hours ago. And of course, that was like five o'clock in the morning here in New Zealand. And I, every morning, just put the TV on and, you know, just have some, you know, they always got like the news and things happening to see. And the first thing that happened was Queen Elizabeth II has died. And, and for me, um, it was like, whoa, I woke up immediately because this is something that we had, ex we knew was going to happen. We knew this was going to happen because she is, she was, is, we've got to use the past tense now. She was, uh, was it 96 years old? So you know that her mother died when she was 101 years old, 100 years old or something like that. So we knew she was, we thought she was maybe had like two, three, four years more left in her. But compared to her mother, she had a lot more responsibilities, a lot more work, a lot more things to do. And yes, so unfortunately, the sad news that she has passed away, Queen Elizabeth II. So, and so today is is a historic day because Queen Elizabeth, she's the queen of, you always know her as the queen of England or the United Kingdom, but she's also the queen of many other, was it like 14 other countries? She's the queen of New Zealand, the queen of Australia, the queen or 16 countries, not too sure how many, <laughs> the queen of Canada. I mean, you think Canada, she's also the queen of Canada too. I mean, Canada, they do have, or oh, New Zealand and Australia, we have our prime ministers, um, which is like basically the prime minister of New Zealand and Canada, Australia, they, they run the country. But every single thing that, like laws and things like that, that needs to be signed by a person called the governor general, which is like the queen's official representative in all of the countries. And the, 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 the interesting thing is, that she has been the queen for 70 years. That's the longest queen in of the United of all of the kings and queens of England, etc., of the United Kingdom or England, whatever. It's the longest ever. Before it was Queen Victoria, which is, I don't know, like 70 or 60 odd years or so. And but not only that, it was the second longest queen or monarch, because a monarch is a king or a queen without defining whether it's a male or female. So it's the long the second longest monarch in the world. And I'm not too sure who number one is. I'm not too sure if anyone knows who the longest one was. But yeah. A and so basically she has been I she's probably was the most famous person in the world in a way. Like even if you are not a part of the Commonwealth countries, which is the name of the countries that were a part of the, the British Empire, but everyone just knows who the queen is or who the queen was. doesn't matter where you are from. It does not matter, you know, who she is. She's more famous than any – because presidents and – Prime Ministers, they come and go, 
every four, five, eight years, 12 years, whatever it, it is happening in your country, that they, they come and they go. But she has always been there for pretty much the life of everyone. Like, how many people are over the age of 70? How many people, like, she's been the queen for 70 years, so even if you're 70 years old, you're a baby, you don't remember anything else other than her as a queen. So it's quite shocking. We knew this was going to happen, but it was quite shocking that it did actually happen now, this morning for us today, what was your reaction or response to this? For many people, it's like, okay, she died, whatever. But for many other people, like another couple of billion people in the world, she had a role to play inside of our countries and the world in general. She did so many things. I mean, there are people that are against monarchies around the world and everything like that. And I mean, in the Middle Ages, it was whew, kings and queens were often horrendous. <laughs> but what I've observed over these years is the amount of time and dedication this queen, her, her life, was devoted to serving the people. I mean, like just some of the comments today is like in one meeting, she'd have to shake hands with like 400 people. And that's like in one meeting, in one day, there'd be three different meetings or four different meetings or different events or things like that. And you think the number of people you have to be in front of and you have to smile and pretend like your stomach might be hurting or something might be not so good in your life but she would be there putting on the smile in the face and saying hello and being interested in the people interested in in what they have to say interested in and and everything and it's interesting some of the things that you learned today for example uh, the Prime Minister of New Zealand here, of course, it was the morning when this happened. It was like 5.30 in the morning. So the first thing that happens is the Queen's Secretary lets the, 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 the UK Prime Minister or the, the, was it, the UK Prime Minister know, like the, one of the first people, apart from family, of course, because they were present when she passed away. The first thing that happened was... The new prime minister is Liz Truss. Like two days ago, this is the strange thing. Two days ago, the queen met with the, the new prime minister, like to give the official welcome or whatever queens do and everything like that. It's just, yeah. It's like, and that was two days, two days ago, the official photo, smiles and everything. And it's just crazy that now the new uh, UK Prime Minister is has to deal with, welcome, you're the Prime Minister of England or the UK, and guess what? You've got to deal with... They, they had a saying or something like that. It was like, London Bridge is down. That was like the code for the Queen had passed away. The Queen, queen had passed away. And now... It's just like what I'm what I'm interested in knowing is like what was your reaction to this? Me, I was shocked. I did not expect I, I expected it, but not today. I expected it maybe in one or two or three or four or five years from now, not today. So my first reaction this morning, I was completely, completely shocked. It's just, yeah, like disbelief did not know what to did not know what to expect so what was your reaction because many of you are maybe from south america central america some of you are from europe what is your initial reaction to this
I'm just going to go back through some of the comments and things like that. Oh, for example, like, oops, <laughs> were you shocked by today's news? Me? I was completely shocked and I'm still in shock. It's just like, whoa. We've got some very nice comments here. May the Queen Elizabeth II rest in peace. God bless our beloved majesty and so sad. And they've, they've been interviewing many people. They've been interviewing many people on the TV and everyone is in the same, the same state. When you see RIP, this means rest in peace, okay? It's like, yes, just rest in peace. So it's just, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say. What, what, what's your initial reaction to this? Larissa says something very interesting here. Hi from Gibraltar. The National Day celebrations this Saturday in G Gibraltar had been cancelled due to, to, to the grief or, oh, what's the word for it when you're mourning, mourning, the M-O, I'll, I'll put that in the chat here. Is it M to mourn, it's a verb. And to mourn is like to have that time of grief where you just, yeah, just try to deal or accept the fact that the person is no longer there with you. It's, yeah, so that's quite... So that's what's happening there. So your king in, in Iran served for more than 40 years. This one, she is, she was for 70 years. So no one knows anything, anything different. Okay. It's like, yeah, the Queen Elizabeth II was a wonderful human being. Okay. Here it is. Look at this. We knew she was getting on, or which means like she was getting older. We often say people are getting on. But the Queen almost seemed a constant in our lives in the UK. And it felt like she would live forever. And that's the same sensation. It's like, you know, she's a human. <laughs> you, you know she's a human and all humans pass away. But she has always been there. She's always been a part of our lives. I mean, e even here in New Zealand, it's like even on our, if you have a look at some of our coins, I don't know if you can see these. If you have a look at the, on the coins, she's on our coins, the New Zealand coins. Okay, that's a 20 cent piece. And the other one, the 50 cent piece, which is like this, she's there. The $2 coin, she's there. Even if you have a look at some of the banknotes, I have one of my million dollar banknotes here. <laughs> she is there. And you think, you know, what's what's going to happen now? That's the question. What is going to happen now? Like these banknotes, they're not going to, okay, let's remove all of the money. This is a thing that's going to take years and years. And now we have... I can't, well, there is a new king. You have King Charles III. It has not officially been said that that is the name he is going to take because of some of what happened to some of the last uh, child, King Charles's. But everyone is assuming it's going to be King Charles III. I mean, from the last breath, the last breath of the, of the king, oh, sorry, of the queen, King uh, Prince Charles immediately became King Charles, King Charles III. It just happens automatically. There will be an official coronation, and a coronation is like official ceremony, and they put the royal crowns or the jewels and everything, and they officially do this, and that, that's not going to happen for a number of months. A number of months from now, they will do this official public ceremony with decoration because they need time. The family needs time to accept what has just, just happened. Her, dead, her death is very sad because death is the noun, dead is the, the adjective. So it's so here we have it was unreal, unexpected. Like, for example, I know like the queen doesn't have much to do with Brazil. I know. 
or doesn't have much to do with Chile or Argentina or anywhere. But interestingly, like, for example, the, the Queen visited Chile in what year was that? I can't remember what year was that. I wasn't around. <laughs> but she visited there and everything like that. So it was like 62 or something like that. Yeah, all 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 deaths, all deaths are unexpected. Okay. So it was unreal when I saw the news. In 68, 1968, she visited Chile. I mean, in 68. 1968, it's not easy to go from one continent to another continent. It's, yeah. Um, it was unreal when I saw the news. I didn't believe at the first moment or the first time. I thought that it was fake news. And that's the thing. Fake news just happens so much. I saw it on the television on our in our main Channel 1 news, which is the main channel. I was a public channel here in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And when it's there, you know it's it's real. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm, fl I'm flabbergasted by Elizabeth's death. Yet she is on the UK coin, stamps, banknotes, and everything. I actually created something just a moment ago, which I want to share with you. This hair. No, this one here, maybe. is <laughs> like... This is something that blew my mind. You have the Royal Mail, which is like the, the post office, you could say, of, of, of the United Kingdom. And these red letter boxes around the country, until like today, many of them have E with a little two sticks there, which represent two, and an R. And this represents E for Elizabeth, because it's Queen Elizabeth, and those numbers, Queen Elizabeth II, because she's the second Elizabeth. The first Elizabeth was like from like 400 years beforehand or something like that. And the R represents one of two things, Regina, which is Latin for king, or Rex, like Tyrannosaurus Rex, <laughs> for, the, for the king. Okay, so Regina for the queen and the Rex for the, for the king, because this is from Latin. So the before Queen Elizabeth, there was King George VI. So sometimes you'll see some old letterboxes, which has a G, the V1 for six, and R. Okay? So these will remain around the world. But now you have King... What's it? King... It's going to be King... Cha, with pretty sure... Don't know... Well, at the time of recording, we think it's going to be King Charles III. So now it's going to change. If they produce any new ones, it's going to be C with the three strokes for the three Roman numerals and R. But this symbol here, it appears like on, I think on the, tell me if I'm wrong here because I'm not from the UK. Um, on the on the like the helmets of the policemen or the police officers and the policewoman, it has this emblem. A lot of official documents have this symbol, and that actually represents Queen Elizabeth. But now that is going to change. And I, this is something that I dis discovered this morning. I think because I was like you, what's going to happen? What is going to happen? So I thought. Okay, I'll, I'll investigate a little, but I just got sidetracked listening to news and, and, and seeing everything like that. Um, what else we got here? It's like this here. I'm wondering if her death is more shocking than Princess Diana. I'm absolutely shocked. Well, Diana, no one expected it. No one expected Diana because she was so young. The Queen, you know, but at the same time, it's a different... It's a different feeling because she was one of the most well-known people in the world, maybe more than Diana. Who, know, who, who knows? The interesting thing about when Princess Diana died, they were in, oh, I can't remember. They were, they were, I think I might have it written somewhere. Let's have a look. She was actually with, in is it Windsor Castle or Balmoral? I'm not too sure when Princess Diana Balmoral. 
Yeah, when Princess mm -hmm. Diana died, and she stayed, and she was the Queen Elizabeth was with Henry and William at the same time because Diana was obviously overseas and in France at the time. So the young boys, young boys at the time, teenagers, they were with Queen Elizabeth. So it was Queen Elizabeth. They had to tell the new, I don't know what happened, but it was like, had to be there for these, her grandchildren, Henry and William. And you think, imagine that responsibility of having to tell your grandchildren, guess what, your mother is no longer here. Imagine that you've got the responsibility of so many other things, but you're also a person, a human who has family. So you imagine what the family has to, it's a family and, and these things don't make you, being a king or queen does not make you immune to pain and suffering and, and all of these different things. So what happened at that time, many people in the UK were there saying, why isn't the queen come to, to London? Why didn't the queen come to London? And why is she staying in Balmoral or wherever it was she was staying? And the reason was, for the first time in her life, she put family before her role. I don't know if it might be the only time. I'm not too sure. But it was like, because she wanted to be with Henry and William and Henry at that time where they needed someone the most. So that's one of the reasons why we discovered, I discovered today, she did not go immediately to London. After four days, she went to London and did everything about Princess Diana. But I thought that was quite interesting because she had to, 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 to serve, yeah, she had to serve the world, or to, to her, her world. The BBC are reporting Charles III as official. Okay. So that's interesting. Yeah, so it's the, the BBC is reporting Charles as the official name and everything like that. She was a great woman. Yeah, like I, I did not know her her personally. Um, I was in shock because the Queen had always supported Ukraine, especially in these difficult times. Okay. And since you're from the Ukraine, you can appreciate that. Um, are you, may she rest in peace with her beloved ones? Exactly. Just note, I'm going to be very careful with all of the comments today out of respect. Okay. It's just so you know, I'll be very, very, very careful with all of the comments here. So I'm not putting up all of the typical hellos and, and the funny things like that. I'm just very, yeah, just being very careful today. So, yeah, even though you're from Argentina and you know that she there's a bit of a conflict between England and Argentina, you just know how powerful or how she was with, with the world. And, yeah, so may she rest in peace. So that's pretty much very appreciated. And this is something interesting. Queen Elizabeth II, she was tired. You could tell she was tired. She was lowering herself and everything. And she was missing her husband because yes unfortunately her husband passed away last year you imagine being married for 60 odd years or seven, i don't know how long they were married 60 70 years and it was and you and the other your partner dies it's just one must be one of the worst things ever and she always said that he was like a very important part in everything in her world which so maybe it's like yeah that that pain of of losing a, your partner, especially after so long, must be so terrible. So now, hopefully, she'll be with her. So she was 96. Her death was sad and not expected. I'm very saddened to hear the passing of Her Majesty. Exactly. It's just so, yeah, so, 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 so shocking. So shocking. I just want to put this up on here again. So you don't need to see me <laughs> and have a look at this type of thing. So this here, these symbols are called the royal ciphers. And they are unique. The design of the crown is unique to each, each king and queen. 
So it's always the same symbol design, the font of the of the letter of the of the letters. Yeah, of the letters also. Okay. I've I've and looked up some different. Um, I've looked up some different uh, anecdotes, facts, information about the queen that I'd like to share with you, which I found interesting. The queen did not have a passport. She's one of the only people probably in the world that does not have a passport or a driver's license. Now, driver's license, I think some of the other royals, they don't have a driver's license, but the queen is the only person that doesn't have a passport because it says something about in name of her majesty, the queen, this represents like, yeah, she is the queen, so she doesn't have one. So that's quite an interesting interesting fact about about here it's like ah because in the name of the queen it's like in the name of me so you don't need a you don't need one of those passports did you i don't know if many of you know that when someone is 100 years old in new zealand australia canada and the commonwealth and in the uk if you're 100 years old you get a telegram or a message from the queen like celebrating is like congratulations for being a hundred years old. I honestly thought the queen would be a hundred years old, like in three years for four years from now, three years and now for four years from now. I thought she was going to make it, but, and I think many people did. So when you're a hundred years old, you receive this telegram. And now I ask is, I always go to say Prince Charles is King Charles strange saying this, is King Charles going to do the same? Just a random thing. Yesterday, it was Prince Charles, and Prince Charles is the Prince of Wales. But now he is the king. William is now the Prince of Wales. It's interesting. Yeah. Other random information about her? For example, of course, you know, she loves horses all her life and everything like that. She's what what is she famous for? She's famous for um what's this one? I just double check this. She could make a lady or a sir or a knight, exactly. In New Zealand and, and in other Commonwealth countries, you have a it's called like the Queen's Honor List, where the people that I don't know are the best examples of human beings in, in the certain countries for doing noble work or whatever, or being the top in the area, every year, like I think once a year, it's like, okay, she says, you are now Sir Sir Rob or, or Lady or Dame Rob or Robert, uh, <laughs> whatever. It's like a Dame for the ladies and a Sir for the, for the males or for the men, okay? So and that's a list, and now that list is going to change. It's not going to be the queen's on a list. It's going to be the king's on a list. And something interesting about her birthday, her the, the official birth, her birthday is the I think it's the twenty first of April from memory. Is her real birthday, but the celebration is in a different day and month. So her she was born on the twenty first of April. But in the United Kingdom, it's celebrated the Queen's birthday weekend is the first Saturday of, no, the second Saturday of June from memory. Because in New Zealand, it's different. Her birthday, the Queen's birthday weekend is the second, third weekend of October. I never remember. I should actually have a look right now. It is the, I don't know when it is. Oh, no, it's the first weekend of October. That's like in two or three weeks from now, the first weekend of October. Wow. And what's going to happen? Is it going to change instead of Queen's birthday? I think they'll keep the Queen's birthday as like a type of memorial or remembering her. But after that, it's next. It's going to be like the next one's going to be King's birthday weekend. It's like a public holiday here in New Zealand and, and other countries. So just thinking of this, it's it's quite strange, quite, yeah, quite, quite, quite strange. So you're deeply saddened to hear the sad demise of, of, of Elizabeth 
as many people are. And the reason is she has an official month in summer because in April it rains a lot in the UK. So, yeah, and that's the same here in New Zealand. It is in October because it's nicer weather and people can go out and, and like, celebrate, celebrate more. Yeah, so that's... Yeah, so she has a official birthday in the summer because it rains a lot in the UK in spring. Okay, that's that's good to know. I have so an, another piece of information that's really interesting. Did you know the Queen sent her first email or message, email, message, slash message, in 1970, before most of you were born? Not me, <laughs> but most of you. But it wasn't called internet at the time. It was called ARPANET. And she did it. She went to a to a like a military base and she sent the first message to some people. So you can think the Queen sent an email before all of you, before me. I sent my first email in 98 or 97 or 90, something like that. She did it in 1976. That is crazy. That is so. So crazy that she was ahead of the time. Other random things that you did not know. Do you know how tall she was? In general, she was, people say she was like short. She was one meter 63. 163. I don't know what that is in feet. I don't, we don't use feet in New Zealand. We use the metric system. But she is basically the shortest adult of all of the royal family. But even though she was shorter than everyone else, she had this vibe. She had this personality. She had this aura. I don't know what it is about her. Other random things. She didn't like garlic, onions, or paprika, according to the royal chef. <laughs> it was like, I don't know, maybe because she's meeting so many people, she didn't want to smell of terrible. Like, Because you have to meet hundreds of people every day. She was the last monarch, monarch, remember, is king or queen, to do homeschooling, okay? Homeschooling, like you learn education at school, like with private tutors or private, yeah, private teachers, basically. She was the last one, and unfortunately, she always wanted to go to school. She always wanted to go to school, but she wasn't allowed to because, or it just wasn't accepted, and I think that was the reason why her children and the grandchildren, they went to, to school. Like now, I think one of the younger, I don't know, her great-grandchildren are going to school, mainly because she couldn't. And, I, and she regretted not doing that. Yeah. She only drank the spring water from Buxton? No idea. If, <laughs> hopefully that's not fake. Yeah, so I just heard the news. Sorry for your loss. May she rest in peace. Yeah, it's just shocking. Just shocking, shocking. Something else that I learned today. She had like a royal dresser. Someone that you know, helps her get her clothes and ready and for the shoes. She had someone to make that would wear the shoes first so that they'd be comfortable. Interesting. Yeah. Because like when you put new shoes on, sometimes they hurt a lot. Well, since she had to walk a lot, the shoes had to be ready beforehand. Eh. Did you know when they got married, her and the Duke of Edinburgh, they got married on the night of the wedding. Not on the night, sorry, won't go into that. The night before the wedding, the Duke stopped or oh, quit smoking as like a night of a gift. Either the queen was very strict, but he did it on the eve of the of the wedding as a gesture of love. Okay. Okay, I've got a question for you. The queen was a supporter of a football club. In an English Premier League football club. Do you know the name of that club? Was she a fan of Liverpool, Manchester United, Arsenal, Tottenham? Who was she a fan of? What do you think? <laughs> but she was, and she was a fan of the same club as the Queen Mother and Prince Harry at the same time. The same club. 
It was, just so you know, I was just waiting for it in the chat, it was Arsenal. She was a fan of Arsenal and sometimes watched the, the game. So that's really interesting, really, really, really interesting. Hmm. So what else we got there? Ah, she also gave in the FIFA uh, World Cup in 1966. England only won once, just the one time. <laughs> just won the once. And she was the person to give the trophy to the English team, which I imagine was quite uh, emotional. Yeah, people were saying, <laughs> yeah. Like maybe everyone thought Manchester. Some people thought Liverpool. It was Arsenal. Yeah. Random things, and she kept that. Yeah, so she, so she seemed healthy. I know it seemed healthy, but over the last number of days, there were there have been some messages about they're concerned about her health, which is not always a good thing. Yeah, so her mum lived to a hundred years, so it was it was unexpected, like everyone said, it was totally, totally unexpected, and she actually visited. New Zealand a number of times and like one of the times she was here for five weeks in New Zealand that was in like 1958 or something like that like it takes a long time to travel from one from one side of the world to the other side of the world New Zealand's at the bottom of the world <laughs> and it just took so long to get five weeks in the country and she visited like 75% of the people she saw or people saw her when she came. And it's just interesting. She's been here in New Zealand a number of times. The interesting thing is that the, the prime minister here in New Zealand, the prime minister here in New Zealand, since it happened at 5.30 in the morning, they, she woke up because a police officer came into her bedroom Oh, I don't know how that works, but one of the, the official guards or police officers or something like that came into the room with a flashlight, with a torch. The prime minister said this today on live TV, came in at 5.30 or 5.30 in the morning or something like that. It's like, and she knew immediately what had happened because she knew from news maybe or something or maybe she received information that the queen was not very healthy it was i mean it was in the news she wasn't healthy so when the person came at that time in the morning she knew immediately the queen had passed away and that's interesting just someone coming in waking up with a torch because at 5 30 in the morning it's still dark here in new zealand at the moment so it's like yeah Crazy. And, and, and the Prime Minister of New Zealand, uh, Jacinda Ardern, she also said when she met, she so, showed a, a Polaroid. You know, those, those you take a photo and it comes out like this. And, and it, you have to flap it and it takes like a minute to show. She showed a Polaroid, a photo of the Queen's visit in 1950-something. 50, 50 like over, yeah. Was it 50, uh, you know, a long time ago, over 50 years ago. And it was with her in the car with the prime minister at the time. And she, it shows her laughing. And she handed this photo and the queen remember exactly where she was and why she was laughing in that photo. And you think her memory was incredible. For these types of things and she said the reason she says i remember this i was in this place and i was with the prime minister because it made me laugh that everyone was calling him by his nickname not his real name instead of richard they called him i don't know what i don't know who the prime minister was at the time they called him like by the nickname and normally in many countries around the world there's a lot of formality. It's like, your name is Robert. I'm not going to call you Rob, or I'm not going to call you by your nickname. Your nickname is like a name that the family and friends give to you. And she found that funny. He was number one in New Zealand, and all everyone was like calling this name, and she remembered that situation. 
because in general, people in New Zealand are a lot more or a lot less formal with with everyone. It's like it's just more relaxed here in, in that sense. So yeah, that 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 was interesting that she remembered something from more than 50 years ago, like 60, 70 years ago. So yeah, it was very after five decades, she, she could remember it. And what else we got? Yeah, just two. Ah, so yeah, so William is now the Prince of Wales, and he's the next person that can be, can be, he's got, he could be the king. And I just wonder how it's going to be over the next weeks, just, just change. The interesting thing also, when she became the queen, like she was a queen like for 70 years, when she became the, the, the queen, she was visiting Kenya at the time. She was visiting Kenya. And at that time, she was staying in like a hotel that were in the trees, a hotel, you could say, a place to stay in the trees. And it's interesting. She always, they, they called her the treetop princess or the treetop queen because in the morning, she went, she was a princess and she went into the trees in the, where she was staying in Kenya. And the next day, when she came down, she was a queen automatically. So that's why they called her the, 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 the treetop queen in, 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 in that part, in that area. So yes, rest in peace, RIP. Charles of Wales is now King Charles the Third. Ex well, exactly. And as Oz said before, it's like on the BBC they're calling him Charles the Third. So I'm pretty sure he's going to 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 keep that 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 name. So that was interesting. And she was young. She was very young. She was 25, I think, when she became the Queen of England. She knew it was going to happen. Like when she was born, she was number three. And then the king abdicated, and then her father became king, which is the brother of the, the other king at the time. And then he died quite young. So she was 25 when she became the Queen of England. And she knew it was going to happen, but again, it, they didn't, didn't expect it. Yeah, it was, she was an Arsenal fan, exactly. So something... And I've noticed today on in the on the news, there's no advertisements at all, out of respect and everything, which I think was is great. Yeah, just uh, uh, yeah, I'm still in shock. Some other information that totally surprised me. Of course, she was a girl guide. You could expect that. She was a lifeguard before she was queen. But something interesting, she was a, she trained to be a mechanic. The Queen of England trained to be a mechanic for the for the Second World War. And she was helping in certain, like, in not on the front line, of course, but she was helping out and everything like that. So it was, yeah, it was, that, that there was some interesting information. But you just imagine how, what what's happening, how, how the, the kids feel like, for example, Prince Charles, Prince Charles, I said Prince, yeah, Prince Charles, <laughs> he's now King Charles, but Prince, when he was young, he always knew he was going to be the king or thought he was going to be the king of England. So he's like young person, I'm going to be the king of England one day or king of the UK. I'm going to say England, it's just easier. <laughs> oh, and then he's like 20 years, he's a teenager, I'm going to be the king of England one day like this. And then he's like 20 and 30 and 40 and 50, 60 years old, 70 years old. And he's like, I think I'm going to be the king of England one day. And he is now 73 years old. He is 73 years old. And it's the oldest person in the history of over a thousand years, the oldest person to become king at age 73. And we don't know 
how long he could last. He could last 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. We have no idea. Males tend to die before they're female. So it could be another 10, 20 years. So today is a historic day. It's like you're going to remember certain moments in your life when the Twin Towers fell. They're like, where were you when this happened? Where were you when this happened? And today is one of those days, like, where were you when Queen Elizabeth II died? So I'm interested in knowing what your reaction is. I'm interested in knowing how, what, what, what this means to you. I'm interested in knowing what, what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, especially if you're from the United Kingdom. Like at the United Kingdom now, it's like two o'clock in the morning, I imagine, or something like that. Was, her, was that her second name? I thought it was something. No, it wasn't. Just yeah, Regina is not her second name. Regina is Latin for um, queen, and Rex is Latin for uh, for king. Her her real name Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor. Of course, the Windsor part had to change a little. Okay, so now it's going to be. Yeah, so you didn't know she supported the Arsenal team. I do too. This is an incident reminded by the Smiths and the Queen. Yeah. So it's like, so now it's going to be expensive. Re it's, from what I understand, it's going to cost billions of dollars for rebranding. And we don't know how long it's going to be there for. It could be for two years, three years, 10 years, 20 years. We don't know. Let's hope he lives a long time because, yes, one is going to be expensive. But they're, they're not going to remove these posts or the royal mailboxes. They're not going to remove them because you can see here there is one from King George VI, which is from 80 years ago or whatever. It's just like a Latin name for royal. Yeah, just so you know. Um, so, yeah, so as Oz said, it's a fancy Latin name for royal. <laughs> you think they should skip to William? Unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever, there are certain protocols, certain rules that about succession, which means who is chosen next. And I, for a moment, thought maybe they could choose William, but the Queen mentioned 10, 20 years ago, no, Charles will be. If he, Charles is still alive, he will be the next king because there's a moment King Charles was not popular, but it's just the natural order of life in, in, in that part. Yeah. So one second, let's go to go back to here again. So, yeah, I'm interested in knowing your feelings like Oz, you're in the UK. How did, what, what was your first initial reaction? What, how did you feel? It was for me, yeah, just now. So at the moment, she is in, I think, in Balmoral, which is just outside of Aberdeen in Scotland. And the, I think most of the family could arrive and be there at that final, those final, final moments. Imagine that moment for the family. One, it's not just your family. It's also something historic. It's just, yeah. But fortunately, like even William was there. I don't know if Henry, oh, Henry, Harry was there. I'm not too sure. But like the, 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 the family was there at that moment. And they expect to take her body to London by train, I think, or something. Um, in maybe four days from now, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure when. So... Yes, it's Friday, 4.50 in the UK. Wow. I found out as I finished work for the day yesterday p.m. at about 6.30. It was on TV. I was very shocked. I just, yeah, just like I know from everyone, like they interview people on TV and everyone is totally, was totally shocked. It's just, you just think she's always been there. 
all of my life, all of my 20 years, <laughs> all of my many, many, many years, she's been there. She was born in October or passed, she passed away. She passed away. I'm sure many people will, will appreciate that. So here, Sandra says, I was very sad to hear about her passing. I like the words that you use there. I lived in London and I experienced how British people feel about her. Yeah, because she was very, ah, this is something interesting. She was very different from many of the past kings and queens. She was the first queen to do, or royal person, king or queen, monarch, to do what is called a walkabout. It's like walking with the public, with the crowds. She was the first, because in the past, a lot of the kings and queens, they like wave from their car or like for a short amount of time, or before then in the carriages that were pulled by horses and they're behind their window, whatever, and like just waving. But she was the first queen to go to the public and start shaking their hands. Of course, she has a, of course, she has a, a like a gloves on because you imagine touching the hands of like 400, 500, 1,000 people in a day. You want to be careful what touches your skin because, yeah. <laughs> but it's just like she was the first queen to do that and receive the flowers. And I think that also might be a reason why the, the, the British or the public were so connected or felt more towards her than maybe the other kings and queens in the past because she was so there. And not only that, she wasn't the typical king or queen that would just sit in the castle and having royal feasts and banquets and food and things. Okay, they have banquets, but but I mean, all of these things, just enjoying the, the money of the peasants, <laughs> of the lower people, she was responsible for like, was it 600 charities? Mm -hmm. And she would be there for, in so many events, like, she received a message from the West Indies community and in, was it chapel or something, something? I can't remember. And, and she went there to say hello to all of the people and to have this connection. She had no problem doing that. And she supported so many causes. You imagine living your life like she did. You imagine living your life like the service to the, to the, to the to the people so at the moment yet yeah, the moment the future seems so touch and go something that came to my mind immediately is for her funeral there's going to be the king the top people from many countries around the world prime ministers presidents governor generals leaders and things like that they're all going many people are going to be there for the funeral and that's like one large concentration of the world leaders and that's something to be scared about just yeah hopefully nothing happens honestly so yeah it is a the queen's death is a huge loss to the world's yeah democratic camp or world and everything like that so today I changed, I had something else prepared today, which we will do next week about, yeah, about prepositions, or oh, I can't remember now, I just, I've totally forgotten. We have another lesson planned today, it's going to happen next week, because I thought, I don't know, I needed to share this with you, I needed to say, like, I'm shocked, and, I, and I'm sure if I had have done my other lesson, I wouldn't have been able to concentrate. I would have been thinking and not concentrating and not doing. Yeah, I wouldn't have been concentrating. And I know many questions too. Yet she lived for a people, the longest serving monarch in the United Kingdom ever. She beat Queen Victoria. 
so yeah so that's why this morning i changed like four hours ago i, I said i gotta change the topic and i ne i needed to talk to you and some other people needed to talk and maybe just know what was happening and just everything like that so next week at the same time and same day we hopefully will continue we will continue with what we had planned today just so you know so if you're expecting that and came to something different i'm, I'm sorry but that's there are other things that are more more important more yeah just more important so i want to thank everyone that, that joined me today uh, for being here i will like respond look at some of the other comments yep yeah, we're shocked too that's that's the general thing is everyone is shocked. You knew it's going to happen, but when it happens, it's just like, yeah. May she rest in peace, totally. May she rest in peace. Her funeral, funeral's in like 10 days from now. So, yeah. I wanted to share this with, with everyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked, just like everyone else. So, yeah, so take care, everyone. And, yeah, just remember... People can pass away at any moment. So spend the time that you have with the loved ones. Yeah. I understand how you feel. The queen has been the queen all my life. been my queen all of my 50 years. It is strange to imagine that we now have a king. So, yeah. So rest in peace, Elizabeth II, and long live the king. Exactly. Yeah. So thank you everyone and still well, I can't believe she passed away. That's the shock. Yeah. Still can't believe it. So take care everyone. Spend some time with your loved ones because yeah. Take care.